In a constantly evolving web landscape, Scrape Graph AI introduces a new era of web scraping. This open source library leverages large language models to offer flexible and low maintenance scraping solutions for developers. So in this video, we are going to scrape a website. So we are going to look at the overview of Scrape Graph AI, the system requirement needed to run this application. We are going to run the application using Llama 3 through Olama. So we are going to look at how you're going to install Olama on your local machine. And we are going to build and run the application using VS Code. All right. So the Script Graph AI is a web scraping Python library that uses LLM and direct graph logic to create scraping pipelines for websites and local documents, such as XML, HTML, JSON, and we have many others. All right. So the scripting, the script graph AI uses the smart script graph, which is a class representing one of the default scripting pipelines. So it uses a direct graph implementation where each node has its own function. So from retrieving HTML from a website to extracting relevant information based on your query and generate an answer. So this is how the smart graph scrapper graph works so it's in here amy so you're going to fetch a document so the url plus the user prompt so we are going to pass it and use rack application that is a retriever augmented generation and we are going to generate an answer right so the answer the output is going to be in a json format all right so i'm going to walk you through how you can going to do that so in this video we are going to script the content of a website using Llama 3, Olama, and Script Graph AI, which is local, fully local. All right, so the requirement needed to run this application is a minimum of 15 GB of RAM on your local machine. All right, so let's get into it. So this is the GitHub. So you can just go in here and yeah uh, other information here that you can look at right so i'll be coming away with several use cases from this video right so let's get into it so we are in my vs code all right so before we do that i'm going to show you how you can install olama on your machine so here is olama.com slash download so in here we have other version that you can download depending on your system so we have the mac os the linux the windows all right so you just go to depending on your system you just click on that and you just download it all right so once you have that downloaded it's very easy to install so when it is done, you should see an icon here, it means that it is successfully installed on your local machine. So let's go to VS Code. All right, so I'm gonna show you. So in the VS Code, I have already created my environment. This is the app.py and the requirement. All right, so before we do that, I'm gonna show you how you can run it so in your terminal you go to so you can create an environment just like this one so you can say python dash mv emv emv so when you hit enter it should create an environment just like this one all right so now we need to activate the environment so we are going to say emv slash script slash activate so when you hit activate Right, so when you see this green M here, it means that your environment is activated and created. Right, so we need to install our requirements. So we need to install Playwright. We need to install this script graph AI. So this version 0.9.0b7. And the next 
essential right so we need to install this one and right so i'm going to show you how you can do this so you go to pip install r requirement so when you hit enter it should install this packages needed to run the application all right i have that installed so i don't want to install that again so i need to in the terminal i need to run this command so i'm going to run this one so this is going to download new browsers all right so i'm going to say playwright install all right so the next thing is let's go to uh, app.py and we import script the smart scripper graph from the we import from so from this script graph ai dot ai we import this smart scrapper smart scrapper graph to do the matching for us and we import the next essential so it's for asynchronous operations and so we apply it and we say so that is to go an issue with it since your event so if there is an issue and now we want to perform a configuration for the graph so we create a graph config and we pass our llm so our model is the olama so we are using llama 3 through olama so we specify that and a temperature to set a temperature parameter so i'm doing that to be zero so it means that if you have to change it depending on use cases so if you do it 0 0.2, 0 0.5, means that anytime you run it, the output is going to change. And we, the format is going to be in a JSON format. So we specify the output, right? So the base URL is this one, the local host 11434. So that is through Olama. And we create an embedding so that when our text, or uh, when the, uh, the information is past is stored in the embedding so we are using the nomic embedding embed text to do that so that is true olama and we set a base url for the embedding as well so variables is equal to true for debugging purposes we want to follow the outcome step by step so we see that it's true and we initialize the smart scrapper graph so we passed we passed that with prompt and a source and a configuration all right so we are using a smart scrapper graph and we pass a prompt so this can be any prompt that you want to put in so i will be for this use cases i am going to use list me all the projects with your description so the source is what is the url you want to put in there so what do you want to script all right so the source can be url it can be html content to script and so for these use cases i'll be using these two atmls https all right these two urls and the config is the graph config all right so i'm passing this graph config in here and so very easy right so run this smart scrapper graph and store the results so this is dot run and we run it and we print the results. So we just want to prettify the results and display the JSON, right? So I just import JSON and output is, we just do a dump in, in dentist too. So we convert the result to JSON format and we create a variable, we call it line list and we output, we split that. So the JSON string, we split that into lines and we print each line for the JSON so we print each line all right so in the terminal let me try to save it so in the terminal what we have to do is to run olama we are saying pull so we're going to pull llama 3 so we need to pull llama 3 so i'm going to say olama pull llama 3 All right, so now let's pull the let's pull the llama pull 
the nomic embed. So nomic embed text. So we are pulling the embed text. So when I say enter. All right, so now it is done. So we are good to go. So the first prompt is list all the projects with your description. So we are going through the my GitHub for this use case. I'm going to scrap the information there. All right, so let's see here. I have the is here. So I'm going to try scraping the information here. So let's try it and let's do it. So I'm going to say. Python app.py. So you hit that to run it. Let's see. And let's see it running. All right. So, all right. So, as you can see, is it has the fresh node, the, the pass node. As you can see from the image here, the fetch node, the pass node, the rack node. And it generates the answers in JSON, JSON format, right? So you can see here, so it goes through all these nodes to execute the final answer. This is the, the refined version. So as you can see here, we have we predefined the results here. So we, so that the output looks more nicer. So we give the name, description, name, description, just like that. All right, so let's try the last one. So I'm going to use this one, All right? So I'm going to comment this one out and I'm going to comment this one. All right, so let me save it. All right, so let's run this one. List me all the projects with the description. So let me do this again, Python up. All right, so we have our beautiful outputs, All right? We have a beautiful, output here and yeah so it can so as you can see is the name what tree description open source project All right and we have our next one All right great so i All right so you can apply this to other other sites so you can do your you can do local documents such as atmls xmls chasing and many more All right so do play around with it and so i'm going to come your way with more videos like this one and i hope you like this video if you've not subscribed to this channel do well to subscribe and share and see you in the next one